we purchased a nursery about two years ago. It used to be Horticare Nursery. It's been a, a nursery here in Little Rock for a long time. Uh, we have gone through a big remodel process and trying to do that during the pandemic was difficult and challenging, but you can imagine that's, that's what we've been facing over the last two years. And, and now that we've got it to this point, it's, we're able to really uh, start doing some of the things that we wanted to do, such as bring on uh, home delivery, which have a background in logistics, so that's going to be good to be able to do that. Uh, but really focusing on now, just getting all the components of the nursery up and running. We have a home brew section of the business. We have a hydroponic farm and aquaponic farm for the business. We've got uh, the market, which is, uh, you know, we have all the meats and cheeses and local products that you can find for the nursery. Kind of the goal is to get um, all the local products that we can find. Uh, what we can't get local, we just try to reach out from the states around us. Start with that model, and we're getting a lot of products in the, into the store. And, and so I think people are happy. So as an urban farmer, you're limited on the scale of things, which they can scale probably bigger at a farmer's market. In, in the city, we're limited based on our real estate of, in my case, the hydroponics. There's just the, 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 the circles, there are little holes in the, in the system. And you can only fill them with so many products so many times a year. And so you know your production, if you're rolling high efficiency, is what you're gonna get throughout the year. You know, I, I chose, I started you know, with aquaponics. And that was kind of what I did. I wanted to self-distribute my own product and we wanted to be able to uh, not really be as dependent upon some of the, the needed materials to grow the food in the hydroponic and aquaponic format. And so I, I got into the aquaponics really to, if I had the fish, I could feed the fish. I don't really need the nutrients. I can use that format and I can get one fish or a couple of fish, you know, and we'll start raising fish and start that way. It started out as a hobby. Uh, hoping to take it into a business format and that worked out so that we're just now really working out. It's been difficult to get to this point. There's been a lot of challenges, um, but but it was a format that I like the challenges of it, the science of it. Um, it, it, is, it. There is a lot of simplicity to it, so it can be very simple and very easy. And then you can make it as challenging and as hard as you want. Um, but I like the, the ability to scale. I like that what we're doing now is urban. I think that everyone can really uh, feed themselves a lot of food at, them, at home. Um, they can come in and learn very quickly uh, that it's not maybe as uh, the, the barriers to entry are not as great as they would have thought possibly. You know, that is one of the beauties of uh, hydroponics is you, you can grow a lot of food in a small space. And, you know, and vertical farming is becoming very popular. It has been over the last several years. And as we continue to become uh, more able to get those products that the, the, the bigger companies have had, we can take it to the home. And so now you can really scale up in the home even. More so, more so than you could even five to ten years ago. And, and if you're growing four heads of lettuce, for example, then you could eat one a week. You know, there's things that you can really teach yourself on in a small space. You can design your home crop, for example, and you'll know what you're able to grow in your little square footage and you design it out. And then you can, in your garage or in your closet or in your room, we grow tents to, to just plastic that you can put together from scrap material. You can really just keep the environment of the plant happy, give it the right amount of nutrients, it's going to grow. And so you can farm a lot in your home, um, which is what we're doing, and we'll show people how to do that and try to give them as much input as we can without having to have workshops too. We do a lot of that, just come in and we'll tell you what to do and how to do it and, and get you going in the right direction. But it's a lot of food you can grow in your house. I mean, it really is. Um, and it's just a matter of just doing it. You may kill a few items, and it, but you know, you're going to get them going. Yeah, I, um, I really hope to be in five years from now, uh, continue to do the same thing we are, uh, just more automated, really bringing in automation is where I'm looking at doing, uh, where I'm looking at going. We're, we're trying to eliminate a lot of tasks that we just don't have to do manually, and so hopefully we'll, we'll try to continue to do that. Uh, moving forward, I, I really hope that we're, we're getting into the home delivery. You know, we have a logistics background that's strong in that, and so we really want to bring the food to people's homes. We'll start with one van at a time, and then we'll add two and three and four. We've done that before, and so we can do it again with food. You know, we really just want to equip people with the ability to feed, to feed themselves and, and to grow plants. If you can grow one, you can probably grow the other. And so we'll just continue to teach people how to grow in the soil and the water through various classes of, of, of what we're talking about Yeah, here. You know, a nursery has a, a, a landscaping component to it. We have a farm component to it. We don't do any landscaping. We sell the ornamentals. Um, but, but we really have a farm component to it and a market and grocery component to it. So it's, it's a good working model that it takes the pressure off of the farm. 
and so being able to continue on and is what's really been beneficial for us is the other components of the business. It's diversified business for us and so hopefully we'll, we'll be able to continue on with that with the logistics side of it, the automation side of it and the trend will continue.